Hi, my name is Katie Urban and I'm the Education Coordinator here at the Museum of Ontario Archaeology. And today I'm going to show you how to make a corn husk doll, which is a traditional First Nations toy. And in order to start, you're going to need some corn husk. Uh, if your corn husk is not fresh, then you're going to need to soak it for a couple minutes in water just to make it pliable and flexible so that you'll be able to use it. Um, you're going to start with a large piece of corn husk, like this one, and sort of a, just another piece. This piece here, you're going to bundle up into a little ball, and this is going to form the structure of your head. And this head goes inside the corn husk, the first piece, fold it over, just like this, so that it's trapped inside, and then you're going to just squish in the, uh, squish it, squish in the sides, and taking a long, skinny, flexible piece, you're going to tie a double knot around the neck of the corn husk doll to hold the head in place. Two knots. And now it's kind of like those uh, napkin ghosts that you used to make at Halloween. Um, the next step is a stiffer piece of corn husk. This is going to make your arms, and you want to fold this in half so it's thicker and half as long. And then when we made our corn husk ghost here, we have a front and a back from where we folded it over. So our corn husk arms are going to go in the middle, just like that. So they're held on by the two sides. And then to hold them on even better, we're going to tie another tie around the waist of the corn husk doll to hold that on. And once again, a double knot so it doesn't come apart. So now we have a corn husk doll that has two arms, a head, and a body, and we want some clothes for our corn husk doll. So we take two long, thinner strips, like this one, these two here, and they go in front of your doll, over the shoulder, and down the other side, and then another one, the exact same, on the opposite side, just like that. So he's wearing his clothes. And then around the waist, you're going to take another thin strip, and you're going to tie that around the middle, just like a belt, and that's going to hold the whole corn husk doll together. And there you go. So now we have a corn husk doll. If you want them to have individual legs, then you just separate all of the corn husk below the belt here, and you're going to tie little ties around his ankles to hold his legs together while he dries. Your corn husk doll is going to need to sit in a well-ventilated area for a little while, a uh, windowsill or on a counter somewhere, uh, just so that he can dry. One leg. Uh, your corn husk doll will go moldy if uh, left in an unventilated area very, very quickly. But if he's left to dry properly, they will last for a very long time. Thank you very much.